Hi, I'm Andy Woolworth with Victor. Today I'm going to show you how to identify where rodents can be located in your home. There are several simple techniques. First, identify the type of rodent you have. The house mouse is dusty gray in color and normally two and a half to four inches in length. Its nesting areas include cluttered areas such as closets or garages and base voids behind appliances. The house mouse diet consists of cereals, grains, meats, and seeds. The Norway rat is grayish brown in color and normally 7 to 10 inches in length. Its nesting areas include burrows in soil, sewers, basements, and the lower portion of buildings. The Norway rat's diet consists of cereal, grains, meats, seeds, cockroaches, fruits, and shrimp. Roof rats are black to brownish gray and typically 7 to 10 inches in length. The roof rat nests in attics, false ceilings, dead fronds of palm trees, and upper portions of buildings. The roof rat's diet consists of fruits, berries, meats, seeds, vegetables, and eggs. To begin eliminating your rodent problems, start with a good inspection to determine which type of rodent is present and exactly where they are nesting. Fecal pellets are the most commonly encountered sign in a rodent inspection and serve as primary evidence to confirm an infestation. Even a small population of mice can produce thousands of droppings in a short period of time. Fresh droppings are dark in color and soft in texture, but after three days they harden and lose the dark color. Age of droppings will tell you if your rodent problem is current. Evidence of recent gnawing is another excellent sign for determining the presence of rodents. Runways are usually evident in rodent infestations. Rodents repeatedly use the same pathways between their nests and food sources. Common linear pathways include foundation or sill ledges, tree branches, electrical lines, pipes, and sewer lines. Rub marks are grease marks created from oil and dirt on the rodent's skin and often appear along wall areas next to runways. Both rats and mice urinate frequently during their daily travels. A mouse is capable of depositing 3,000 droplets in just 24 hours. Rodent urine is often deposited in their runways and other frequented areas. Rodent odors may be particularly pronounced in larger rodent infestations. Cats and dogs may excitedly sniff and probe an area where rodents are present. Various sounds produced by rodents and their young, such as high-pitched squeaks, gnawing sounds, scratching and digging noises can commonly be heard during night inspections. Simple inspections of these common signs will help you locate any rodent issues in your home before they become a serious problem.